Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. It's me, Roblox Wells. Now, before we get into the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and comment your opinions in the comment sections down below if you have anything to say about the video. Now that we have went over that, let's get right into the video. Roblox toys, merch, and more is getting removed from stores. Here's why. So Roblox is recently being removed from the shop, literally. Every single store that you know you can buy Roblox merch from, they have made these little Roblox toys, and they're getting removed. More like they're getting recalled. It's not really that good of a reason that they're being recalled, but basically they're making new toys that should be able to be coming out soon. That's way more safer. And if you don't know why they're making these new toys and recalling the old ones, I'll give you a little enlightenment. So each and every single toy has an age limit. Well, what if I told you that some toys were actually dismayed? What I mean by dismayed is it wasn't made properly. A few workers ended up messing up the toy which had it to be recalled. Now, when they messed up the toys, they messed it up really, really, really bad. There's a few items in the toys that are questionable, such as if you have ever seen one of them plastic knife thing, but instead they decided to use actual metal which caused harm to little kids. Seeing how the box says 8 and above, it might as well be 18 and above. Now while the toy didn't cause any harm to anyone, they recorded it in time before it actually went up in shop. Only one of the products actually got out there. But they have instantly recalled for it. So anyone that has it, it's going for about 200000 right now. Why is the price so high? Well, let me tell you. Since they messed up and if anyone gets hurt over the toys, if it's not recalled or if someone is to, let's say, die from it, Roblox will owe somebody over $1 million just for the toy alone. Then you also have to think about the murder charge if someone dies. Because then, the court's gonna take it as if they put out the toys so the kids can hurt themselves. So the court would take it as if they were to make the toys and just put it out to children in general. Instead, since they have had a recall for the toys and even offered a reward, if someone was to get hurt from it, it wouldn't be that big of a charge. But 200000 is kind of going in the right amount or price of it. Now it'd be way different if someone was to die from the toy, that's why they couldn't return it, because then that person's family or that person, whoever close relative is, will receive the money from them. But not only that, 200000 isn't enough. They're going to receive way more due to the fact that it was Roblox's mistake in the first place. So first off, they're going to take a good percentage out of Roblox, because they're basically it's their toys. They're responsible for their toys. Not only that, but they would take a gooder percentage out of the toy making company for making the toy in the first place. And it was their mistake, so they would probably take a bigger deal than what they took out of Roblox pay. Which, Roblox will unpartner with them if they lose a percentage of money. Seeing how much money that Roblox has actually made will be lower than the percentage that they will actually lose. Which will make them unpartner all in total. I mean, it's basically like you're giving people money for free. Not to mention that Roblox also has to pay their creators as well, the game creators, I should say. The people that actually get Robux paid to them and they get turned into actual cash. Roblox has to pay that out to all the content creators out there as well. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below. I'll see you guys later and peace out.